And then she talks about um, sleep hygiene and how it's not just a behavioral thing. It's also an environmental thing. Um, she has some some really cool tips for that coming up. Some of the stuff I like to do personally for mine, though, is I tend to go to sleep and wake up at the same time, right? Even even on, like, weekends and days when I'm not working, I like to do that because I just feel like it keeps, you know, my circadian rhythm in, in alignment better. Uh, I'll even do it to the point to where if I stay up, you know, late on a Friday, Saturday night, I still get up typically at the same time I would anyway the following morning just because, I, I don't know, it feels, first of all, my body wants to wake up that time anyway. My kids will wake my ass up even if I try to sleep in. But I like to do it also because it seems to keep my circadian rhythm more in alignment, you know, assuming I don't just string a bunch of those kind of days together. Um, what else? Got to don't like don't go to sleep on a super full stomach, right? That's super uncomfortable burping up shit while you're sleeping. Plus, I get heartburn, so I got to watch what I eat right before I um, go to sleep because lying down can make that shit way worse. Uh, what else? Alcohol consumption. So alcohol, a lot of times, is kind of seen as a sleep aid for some people because it makes you sleepy initially, right? But it also messes with your uh, sleep cycles and all of that, so it can um, screw with you there. Also, something I found is, you know, if I'm drinking a lot, out cruising all day, like yesterday, we drank, drink kind of a lot. But um, sometimes what will happen when that happens is, sure, I'll go to sleep all good. But if I wake up right through the night, even though I'm really tired, I find sometimes I'll have a hard time falling back asleep. So just another reason not to get hammered. <laughs> and then... Um,